Once you've watched the video on how to draw up an intramuscular injection, and you've cleaned the injection site with an alcohol swab, you are ready now to inject into the muscle. The following areas are the best places to give intramuscular injections. The vastus lateralis, or the thigh muscle, can be imagined into three equal parts. The middle third is the best place to give the injection as it is the easiest to see. It is also ideal for children under three. The deltoid muscle, or the upper arm muscle, should be completely exposed. The injection will be given in the center of an upside down triangle shape. Feel for the bone that goes across the upper arm. The end of this bone will form the base of the triangle. The point of the triangle is below the center of the base at about the height of the armpit. The correct injection site is the center of the triangle, one to two inches below the acromion process. This injection site should not be used if the person is very thin or the muscle is very small. The dorsogluteal muscle or the buttocks muscle, expose one side of the buttocks. With an alcohol swipe, draw a line from the top of the crack between the buttocks to the side of the body. Find the middle of that line and move up three inches. From that point, draw a line down across the first line, forming a cross. In the upper outer section, fill for a curved bone. The injection site is in this square section below the curved bone. Do not use this site for children under three. It is best to rotate injection sites to avoid areas that are tender, bruised, or scarred. Hold the syringe in your dominant hand and remove the cap with your other hand. Place the syringe between your thumb and forefinger. Let the barrel of the syringe rest on your middle finger. Hold the skin around the injection site with your free hand and pull it so that it is taut. Insert the needle into the muscle. Hold the syringe barrel tightly and use your wrist to inject the needle through the skin into the muscle at a 90 degree angle. Let go of the skin with your other hand. Hold the syringe so it stays pointed straight in. Gently push down on the plunger. You can inject the medicine slowly to reduce the pain of some medications. Leave the needle in for five seconds before removing it to prevent leakage. Once the injection is finished, remove the needle at the same angle. Place gauze and a bandage on the injection site if needed. Do not recap your needle, but place the entire syringe into a sharps container. You can purchase a container or you can make your own from a hard plastic container with a screw top. Make sure to label it appropriately as dangerous and keep out of reach of children and in a safe place. Never throw needles in the trash can. Ask your caregiver or pharmacist regarding state and local requirements for disposing of used needles and syringes. If this is the first time you've punctured your vial, make sure to label it with today's date. You should discard that vial once the medication is gone or after 28 days from the date of first puncture. If your medication is to be refrigerated, remember to place it back within that temperature range. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about where or how to give an intramuscular injection.